The next picture that you are going to see, this is a snapshot of Excel. This is again Microsoft product, Microsoft Office product, where you can just see uh, there will be different uh, cells that will be available in which you can enter the data and you can do the processing. And this is mainly used for statistical operations, like if you want to enter in some data and you want to compare it, and uh, almost all mathematical operation you can perform with this particular utility. And you can just see this particular software, apart from processing uh, the uh, numeric values, it will also, to some extent, it will also have, that is, uh, suppose if you have a list of uh, strings and you want to arrange it in uh, some order, as in uh, alphabetical order or reverse alphabetical order, it is possible. So, these are the some features which are available, which are available in this particular thing. Apart from that, suppose you want to display a image, that is, you want to display these numerical data in some pictorial representation, you want to have a chart bar chart, line chart and you want to draw a histogram, everything is possible with this particular tool. And uh, apart from, uh, as I said, uh, this particular tool also have some plugins. You can just add those things and it also uh, allows us to uh, integrate. That is, you can just export this particular uh, contents available in this Excel to some databases which we will be using frequently. Because nowadays the database is predominantly used for all operations. Without database, uh, no application can be uh, available. So, uh, you can just feed in the data that are available and you can just uh, export it to some database. This is possible with this utility or application software package. Now, we are going to see how we are going to use spreadsheet application. First, click Start. Select program menu, from this you select Microsoft Office and from this particular menu you just select Microsoft Office Excel 2007. This is the spreadsheet application which is given by Microsoft Corporation. When you select you will be displayed with an editor like this and here you can just see this will be the work area where you will be typing all the uh, values you, uh, and you will be performing the statistical uh, uh, you will be performing the statistical uh, operations and uh, you and other uh, possible other operations that are possible with the spreadsheet. Now, first we will see how we are going to enter the data. Suppose you want to you consider this uh, is first uh, row and this is column A. Suppose you want to in column A for first five values you want to fix it as one okay then first you type one in this particular place then you use this particular option okay you can just see when you just move your cursor to this particular corner that is bottom right corner of this particular cell the cursor will change to plus symbol after change after this change you just click and drag okay you can just see and uh, up to fifth row in A column it will be so, uh, the value will be set as 1 suppose you want to have consecutive values then first you type 1 in the first cell second you type 2 ok then you select these two things ok you select these two things and again similar to the previous case until the cursor changes to plus you move the cursor to the bottom right corner and you just drag it now you can just see in the previous case all will be all values are set to 1 here you can just see the consecutive values will be set suppose you want to perform some operation suppose you want to add a column and b column then in c column what you need to do you select the c column okay and here in this particular box you, you can just apply the formula first you can just see you need to give equal to symbol and what do you need to do? A1 is the first column. You can just see after giving the first column, here the cell will be selected. Okay, and add the first column with the B column. So B1. So in this particular uh, cell, that is in C cell, A1 value and B1 value are added, and the sum will be displayed. Now you just press enter 
you can just see the result a1's value is added with b1's value and result is shown suppose you want to have the same formula to be repeated for all these values then again what you do you repeat the same thing so you can just see the values will be displayed similarly you can apply any formula in this particular box and that will be reflected like this suppose you want to have sum for example sum of the a column and you want to store it here okay sum of all these values then what you need to do just give equal to then you press this particular function this will insert a function so here the list of functions will be displayed you give sum okay and give ok upon giving uh, sum you you need to select the column and rows uh, that is whose value need to be summed and here there is one particular option if you click this okay you will allow us to uh, the uh, editor will allow us to select the columns and you select this particular thing and it will be displaying it and after the what what you need to do just expand this and click ok now you can just see this, the sum will be displayed suppose you want to apply the same effect to all these columns then what you do just drag this and the sums of respective columns will be displayed similarly you can perform the other mathematical operations which is required apart from this you can just see whatever that we have discussed in word that is this is for cut suppose you want to cut a particular value from one cell to another cell you can cut it well we will see one example we want to cut this so the value will be cut and you are going to paste it here paste it so the value will be moved from this particular location to this location.